All right, I'm Cody, and we're gonna get the area of a decagon. I started with a radius of 10, and then because I know it's gonna be 10 sides, I divide 360 by 10, and 360 by 10 gives you 36. So this right here is 36, and then I divide that by two because I want to write triangle, and 36 divided by two equals 18. So, and then I know that's a right triangle, so I have 18. Yeah. And then because Because the right triangle, I'm doing cosine, and so I get cosine of 18 over, wait, no, it's cosine because it's adjacent, which is a side that I don't know, and hypotenuse, which is 10. So it's cosine of 18 equals x over 10. And that gives me 0 0.9510 equals x over 10. And because this is a fraction, I want to make this a fraction. And then I do cross multiply. So x times 1 equals x, which is then 10 times. 9.5, never, point 9.51 equals 9.51 equals, and then, because I know what this is, which is my right triangle, I have to put it into Pythagorean theorem, and it doesn't really matter which one my A and B is, but this is going, my 9.52 is going to be my A, so I have 9.51 plus b squared equals 10 squared. Square this. And then Oh, I square this, so 9.51 squared equals 90.44, but we're just going to round that to 90, plus b squared equals 100. And then we subtract 90 from the 100. subtract from both sides and get b squared equals 10 and then we have b squared equals and we want to know what the square root of this is the square root of 10 is 3.16 so we have 3.16 and then we times 2 and times 10 because it's a decagon and it has 10 sides and when you take that times 2 times 10, you get 63.245. And we're going to round that to 63.5.25. And then we want to do our area equals half of a potham perimeter times perimeter, which is a equals one half of a p. And so we have one half of nine point one five, nine point five one. And 
you get 300 point seven five three seven five and that is the area of a decagon of this decagon